Hello, I just wanted to step in and give you a little recap of my Scrap Fest experience 2011. I did this last year and it's a little bit easier to talk about it and show you instead of showing you a bajillion pictures. Um, I will still have pictures and some writing of course on my blog at BritaSwiderski.com. Um, but I wanted to show you the vast majority of the things I wanted to show you in a video just so that it goes by a little bit quicker. Um, so I have a whole box of stuff here from my weekend, including things that I bought, uh, classes I took in Make and Takes, and then even a couple things for you guys um, to win. So stick around to the end of the video to learn more about that. Um, but first I wanted to show you some shopping that I did. The shop or the event itself, Scrap Fest, takes place at the Mall of America. So as you can imagine, I did shopping other than just for scrapbooking stuff. Um, Archivers is the only place in the mall where you can buy crafty and stuff. And then, of course, there are the make and take booths, but you can't buy things there. It's just the main archi archivers and then the kind of bonus area down in the rotunda where you can buy deals and things like that. Um, but that's mostly like clearance stuff and stuff like that. But I still picked up a couple really cool things there. Um, I'll start out in the archiver store. I went there several times because they're constantly adding stuff throughout the weekend because they don't want to get to get picked over. Um, I bought some stuff from Studio Calico which um, the Studio Calico people were there so there was April and Greg the owners of Studio Calico and then there was Kelly Perky and Nick Howard and um, they were all just lovely. I got to meet all of them and hang out with all of them and I knew Kelly from previous events so that was really cool and it was really nice seeing them and uh, they're really sweet in real life and I they're also good saleswomen and men um, so <laughs> I picked up a lot of the new uh, Studio Calico stuff just because I couldn't wait to get my hands on it so I didn't want to wait for my Simon Says stamp order so I just picked it up in person um, so I got the classic Calico 12 by 12 pad the memoir 6x6 pad and then the autumn press 6x6 pad and these are their new two collections and I just used the memoir pad on a card on my blog that you've already seen um, it went live on September 19th so you can check out that post if you want. Alright, and I also got some things, some other things from their line besides paper. I got the herringbone fabrics. I got the border stickers, which I don't know if you can see this, but um, they're craft, so it's really cool. I'm really excited to use these. They'll be great on layouts. And then butterflies. And I also got the chipboard houses, the chipboard asterisks, asterisks, yeah, something like that. And then this mask. So I'm excited to use those. And I think this is my favorite purchase of the entire weekend, the Mr. Hueys from the memoir collection. I just love all of these colors. I'm pretty sure all of these were on my wish list and um, they had a really cool pack where you could buy all five of them in one package and it was only $25 versus buying them individually for $5.50 each. So that was really cool and I'm glad. Um, I was going to buy the colors anyway so I guess I kind of saved money. <laughs> um, and then I also picked up some cardstock which um, Archivers had a coupon for 10 free sheets. Um, so yeah, I picked up some cardstock, including some American Crafts gray cardstock. These are their three gray colors, or four gray colors actually. And I have the smoke, the concrete, ash, and charcoal. And I'm going to compare these with the Jenny Bolin gray ink, and then I'll get back to you on which one matches up the best. I'm still in the process of doing a chart that matches up my ink colors with my cardstock colors, so I'll let you know as soon as I get that done. Um, and then moving on to things that I got in the little sale bins, I got wood grain stickers from Sassafras, which are really cool. I love this font, so I'm always willing to have more of it. And this wood grain is so versatile, so I picked up two of those. 
Um, I picked up this Max Alpha from um, American Crafts, and this was only $3. And then this was also on sale, it was only $3. Um, the You're So Special, I think it's called. It's one of my, oh, it's called Beautiful Peacocks, actually. And I use this stamp set all the time, especially the sentiment, the You're So Special sentiment, and the Wishing You All Things Beautiful. Because they're really good for cards that you're giving to somebody who's going through a rough time. Um, so I use those a lot, and they're really good to make ahead of time, too, because sometimes you need one um, right away. So I have this, and that'll be part of the giveaway. And then I also picked up some thickers. I got these ones, they're foam, they're the fantastic, they're the Dear Lizzie line. I got the Lullaby Glitter Thickers. And then the number 73 number set from Quick Cuts. And these were only $5 each, so that's really cool, and I'll be giving one of these away as well. And then from shopping around the mall, um, I made a few notable purchases. Uh, first was my iPad. Um, I've been really excited and wanting this for a really long time. So I picked it up. This is the 16 gigabyte um, black one. And as you can see, I've been playing Tiny Birds on it. But I have a picture of my kitty as my background. And yeah, and then I have the um, orange cover for it, and I actually made my own um, back cover out of a sheet of laptop covering paper from uh, Vera Bradley. And this goes along with my next thing, and oh, by the way, I couldn't find a pattern to cut one out to put on the back of my iPad, so I made my own. So I'll have that PDF on my blog. If you get an iPad or have an iPod pad and want to make your own back, um, you can see that I just I cut it so that the corners, you don't have to worry about it folding over that. And then you have spaces for all the important things. So I'll put that up on my blog just as a little bonus. If, it, if it's useful to you, I figured I'd make it available. And then I went a little bit crazy at Vera Bradley because they were having their fall sale. And you can get this the sale online right now too if you want to look, um, but they have their three collections that are covered with vinyl that are on sale right now, and this is the Happy Snail pattern, and then this pattern is often on the inside of this one, which is also called Happy Snail. Um, so if you want to buy me any gifts with Happy Snail in it, <laughs> uh, just feel free to send it my way. Um, but I bought a cute little bag and then this little card holder and then also a little lunchbox thing and they were all 40% off so it's really cool and I love this pattern and I love that the base is navy because I'm just obsessed with that as a neutral as you know from my love of spice tin ink <laughs> alright so next I want to talk about the make and takes I actually only did two make and takes the entire time I was there because really I didn't want to wait in line and the lines are always really long for make and takes um, and you need this badge that we got to take to make them. Um, and honestly, I'd rather be hanging out with friends and shopping than waiting in lines. So I only made two. I made uh, the Sizzix one, which we use as coordinations paper cardstock, which has the inside and then we sanded it off. And there's die cuts. We got to use the Vagabond, um, which is on my wish list because I just love the power of it. My Big Shot is good enough for now, um, but I feel like if I do a lot of teaching and stuff like that, I'll want to have the Vagabond so I don't have to like constantly be cranking things through. And then I also made the Hero Arts one on the second day, which their colors change every day, but I'm pretty sure their project was pretty similar every day, and they were paired up with basic gray and 3L adhesives. So we used this foil right here with the 3L adhesives. That was cool. We did some watercolor stamping with their, um, I believe we did Distress Ink and then used markers over the top of it to do the flowers and then sprayed it a little bit. And then I have, there's some basic gray paper. This is the Indie Bloom collection. And then it comes with a little envelope, which is awesome. 
Um, Hero is just so good about doing make and takes, and they're so, such a generous company, and I love it. Um, so that's a super cute card. Um, and then I also have from, uh, this isn't exactly a make and take, but on Saturday night I met up with some of the girls from the Hero Arts Flickr group and some of the Hero Arts girls, uh, Sherry Carroll and Jennifer McGuire, and we all had dinner and kind of just sat around and talked and it was really great and we did a card swap at the end and I got these two cards and they're just so lovely I think all the people in the Hero Arts Flickr group are so talented and now they have two of my cards too um, and then of course my favorite part of the entire weekend probably well besides dinner hanging out with people and seeing people and meeting some people that watch my videos and check out my blog, which is really cool. Um, the lady next to me sitting in one of my Hero Arts classes actually recognized my voice, so that was really cool. Um, that's never happened to me before. Um, oh, quickly, before I get to the classes, I also got a couple more things that I had sitting over here. I got a Hero Arts and Sizzix stamp set, and this is the Snowman one. And it comes with dies that you can line up, and I've just taken them out and putting them in this bag for now. I'm not sure how I'm going to store these, because I want to keep the dies and the stamps together. But they come in this plastic package that isn't really um, conducive to like keeping in my area, because it's really big. Uh, so we'll see, but I'm loving these stamps together so far, and I've actually made a card with them somewhere <laughs> that I will share soon. Um, but yeah, I'm loving these stamps and I can't wait to get more of them because the die is right on the, the edge is right on the inside. So it cuts out the stamped image almost perfectly and I love it. And I also got the Amy Tangerine, um, book. So it's pretty cool. And I'm excited to do something with this. I think it'll be really fun to just do a one day scrapbook where I take out a whole bunch of pictures from a particular trip and, um, get them scrapped. So that's really cool. Alright, so back to the classes. Um, the, I took the Hero Arts ones on Friday. And for this we made three cards in each class. And they're just jam-packed full of awesome things. Because they're only 45 minute sessions. So they really have to pack in as much as possible. So we did this card. And this is their Christmas class. And this card. And then this card. And this uses their embossing folder and stamps, so that's really cool. And then they also are super generous. If you ever get a chance to take a Hero Arts class, you definitely should. Even if it's just for the free stamps, because not only do you pick up so many tips and techniques, I mean, I've been stamping for a while, but I still learn so much when I take classes from Hero Arts, because Jennifer McGuire and Sherry Carroll are awesome teachers. Um, and then I also got, I think in the first class, I got these two stamp sets. So that's really awesome. I can't wait to use these a little bit more. And then in the second class, I got this stamp set, which this is a Studio Calico Coat branded one. And then a Christmas Sentiments one, which will be really, really useful. And the second class... Actually, this is the first class. Um, we made um, cards all having to do with thinking inking. And I don't have these completely put together yet, but this goes right here. And this was using um, distress inks and pearlized water. We have this card that was used that's using distress stains, which is it ended up looking really, really cool. And then this one, where it actually opens up and the flower stays on one part. And super cool. And even when you open it up, there's no adhesive showing, so that's really cool. And of course, they even include their directions and envelopes for all of their cards, which is really, really helpful. And then I also took the Tim Holtz class, and this one was really exciting for me because it was a two-hour class. It's the first time Scrapfest has done this, and we got a chance to finish our entire project, which was really awesome. 
if you ever get a chance to take a class from Tim Holtz, do it because he teaches you so much and he's just a really fantastic teacher. So I'm just going to flip through this book really quickly and I've just started putting on letter stickers together and this is, I'm going to use this to document my Spain trip I think. And we just learned so much and this book is really adorable and I just love that the little knob on the front and it just comes together so well and um, yeah it's just really great this is canvas actually and we got to put the book together um, in class and yeah just really 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 cool and actually in Tim's class we got to keep a whole bunch of product too I got these um, plastic letter stickers I have no idea what they're called but I know that I've definitely had my eye on them for a very long time and they're really cool. Super easy to twist off and then you just trim off the little nib. And then we got Heirloom Gold Perfect Pearl Mist, which this is perfect pearl su suspended in a resin. So it's way more concentrated than mixing it with water and it's a really cool gold color. Um, a little mini glossy accents which lasts forever, by the way. I lose them before I um, actually run out. A blending tool. And then we even got an entire roll of his tissue tape. So that's super cool. We also got three Distress Inks, but I have all of them that I rec received and my the person that was sitting next to me had never used them before, so I let her have them. <laughs> um, so yeah, I wanted to give them away, but then she was like all excited about them. So I was like, you know, whatever, you can have them and then check out my vlog and you can see all the videos on Distress Ink that I have. Um, so yeah. So, oh, and here is my official booklet. So that, it was just a really cool experience. I'm glad I got to hang out with all these friends that I've made over the past few years. I've been going to Scatfest for about four years now. And it's just a really fun time every time, no matter what I'm doing, no matter what if I'm just shopping or even hanging in line, um, talking to people, it's just always really fun. So if you ever get a chance to go, definitely go. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other conventions are very similar, just with a little bit different focus, because Archivers is sponsored by Archivers, or the whole event is sponsored by Archivers, so you definitely have more of an emphasis on shopping and hence why I have so much product. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this little recap of Scrapfest. I'll have some pictures over on my blog of the weekend and um, you can check those out and let me know if you have any questions. If you have any questions about the classes in particular, um, let me know and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And yeah, I hope I see you next year at Scrapfest maybe. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you again next time. Bye. Uh, when I was editing the video, I realized that I totally forgot to mention how to enter the giveaway at the end of this video. And up for grabs will be this stamp set from Hero Arts, this uh, die cut from Quick Cuts, and then one of the wood grain letter stickers, and then whatever else happens to find its way into your box. Um, this is open internationally. Um, it should be a pretty small package, so that should be fine. Um, and to enter, just leave a comment on this post on my blog on September 20th, 2011, that post, um, saying what you're most excited to buy next. Um, and that'll be kind of fun. Uh, so one comment per person, please. And you have until September 30th to enter at... 11:59 p.m. Central Time. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you again next time. Bye.